Dashed off, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we heard what it is, what it do, y'all. Welcome back to the what, Smokey. Yeah, what number is this? 16. One, six, 16 episodes. Yeah, yo. we made it. We made it. We're here. So, um, guys, we got a special episode today. As y'all can see, special. it's not just Behringer, Hollywood, Six, Bonds, and it's not just Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, Cowan. We also have one of our trash fans, Jason Law. Jason Law's in, Jason here, Law's in the house. I won't, I won't, how are you defining special? Ooh. Special, like like the school that he used to go to. Special. All right. Well, I mean, as long as I know, that's how I'm classified. <laughs> no, he's far from special. Actually, if you guys remember from all of our live streams, um, he's the guy that has the big head. <laughs> Dang. Uh, what? Tell the people what size what size hat do you wear, Jason? What I have on now yes. is a double XL flex fit. What size? If you were wearing. To wear a regular fitted, what size would it be? Last fitted hat I had was an eight. An eight. Eight. Yeah, that's that, big. Yeah, that's. I have a huge head, and I wear a seven and five eights. Well, what is the normal person size head? Just curious. I want to say like seven and a half to seven and three quarters. I I don't think so. I think that's small. I think, think I have the normal size head, and y'all got peanut uh, heads. All of us are just <laughs> small. So this is what I wanted to do live on camera. We purchased a trash talk hat. You see, I've got one. Mm -hmm. Smokey's got one. I do not. He's got the root six six, which is my favorite number times three. But um, I have a hat here that no one has ever been able to fit. Mm -hmm. No one. So what we're going to do live on camera, I'm going to let this guy try this hat on. If this hat fits him, your head is ginormous. My head is ginormous. I'll try on that hat, and one of y'all try on my hat. Deal. All right. Well, shit, we'll both try it. All right, I'll go first. Let's no, see. you can leave your hat on. With your hat? And still try on my hat. Please. Right, let's, do I go first? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do this. Y'all, look at this shit. And and this is a duck bill, so it kind of makes it a little smaller, but let's check this out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. You still got extra room. Dude. That's crazy. There you go. Smoke. See if that fits over your hat. Oh, by far. With some room to grow. Yeah, you can spin it around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is the final conclusion. Let's see if this big old hat works for him. Yeah, because in one of our boxes, we got this humongous hat that we knew nobody would ever be able to wear. And it is what? An eight? Well, I don't know. I just know it's big. Yeah, I don't think they put the sizes on it for some reason. Jason? Let's see. Here it goes. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, dude, I'm going to have to put my, my redneck band yeah, in it, though. But yeah. That's your hat I'm going to go ahead and put that bad boy on. It's actually got me a little bit of space in there, too. <laughs> Guys, we have found a have, trash talker hat for Jason. <laughs> I have a problem with hats cutting off the circulation of my head. I bet you do. <laughs> it's pinky and the brain. The oh, pinky and the brain. The dirty. <laughs> so what? What's been up, man? Y'all wanna? We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, you wanna go ahead and get into these stories, smoke? Yeah, out? let's get into our normal segment of weird news. All right, how do I look? Oh, like a trash talker. I'm styling. Yes, trash talker. Right on. Trash talker. All right, guys. For our first segment, uh, you know, we guys we do the paranormal news. Or strange, bizarre news, yeah. things of that nature. Um, it's definitely paranormal, though, by definition. It is not normal. By far. Yes. By far. All right, so you, let me go first. Okay, check this one out. This is, honestly, guys, this one really has nothing to do with paranormal, but it has something to pertain to y'all two. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask y'all, what do y'all two have in common? Other than being white, what else? We got beards. Okay. Awesome beards. Yes. I mean, let's be real. Dude. Or Vikings. On the show. The they, Viking beard. Yes, yes. The straight hair. Jason pulls out this thing of, what is it? Beard balm. Beard balm. What is beard balm? Conditions my beard. It makes it where it don't go like this. Oh. Mine tends to do that a lot. But I put some of the beard balm in and now I got 
My, own, my beard's on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you ever grab your beard and put it in your mouth? And like, no, that's gross. But I my kids... All the time. My kids used to put their hands up in it and make a fist and fall asleep when they were little. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> See, I used to have this problem when I had long hair. I would always, like, just a nervous habit of chewing on it. So then when I cut mine off, I just immediately went to... <laughs> so it went from your <laughs> hair to your beard. Yeah. Well, guys, my story pertains to that. Okay, did you guys know men with beards have more germs than dogs? No, that's homeless men's beards. <laughs> well, here's what the study says. That's not my beard. <laughs> <laughs> All the bearded guys in the study had micro mi- microbial counts compared with only 23 out of 30 dogs tested. Conclusion, dogs are far more cleanly, cleanly and cleanlier mm-hmm. than the average male beard. It says, looks like men with beards are going to be dog with charges. You guys have everything from feces mm-hmm. in your beard. Mm-hmm. You guys have everything from semen into your beards? I don't know about that one. Not, well, here's the thing. It's like, yeah, I could understand. I mean, here's the thing. If you're going down on your lady, yeah, it didn't say male semen. <laughs> well, does a woman have semen? <laughs> no, she well, there's still bodily right. fluids, and yeah. that's probably what they're meaning. This is how I'm looking at it. So when a guy jack. When a guy wax off, yeah, what does he do? Okay. Whip, whipping Skippy, uh huh. He's whipping whatever that means, and then he goes and does, <laughs> and it flies into the beard. Or he, after oh, he's oh done, on the hand, he, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess that's how it could happen. I but, mean, I mean, that's if you're not washing it regularly, man. Or use, yeah, they're using the other kind of beard balm. <laughs> we don't natural we, beard. We balm. don't. We don't use that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just curious. Do you guys, when y'all are in the shop, I mean, I'm growing a little something. My mom said, my mom always told me never grow a beard because she think I would look like a terrorist. So <laughs> I'm going to, I mean. But I could I, see that. Oh, yeah. come on, dude. Understandable. But I want to ask y'all, when y'all are in the shower, do y'all put shampoo and conditioner in y'all's beard? Yes. Of course. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's right there. You're already doing your hair, right? Okay. But here's the thing about the whole feces and collecting bacteria. You're not going to collect anything in your beard that's not going to collect in your hair, on your head. So does that mean your hair has yes. feces and semen? Yeah, and because so does your toothbrush if it hangs out in the bathroom. Gets on your hands is what the only thing I could think of. But Well, it flows through the air. I mean, right. They, if somebody t- takes a dump it. and you can smell it, that's feces in the air. Huh. Test a toothbrush in the bathroom. Oh yeah. God. Dude, I'm going to tell y'all one of my biggest fears. I'm a bachelor. These guys, well, y'all, they're not married, but I well, am. he's married. I am. But I'm a bachelor. <laughs> my, one of my, my wife might watch this. Hey, say hey to the wife. Hey, wife and kids. Yeah. Good to see you. We're going to keep this PG-13 for you guys. Yes. Um, One of my biggest fears, dude, me being a bachelor and having, you know, chicks over is I'm sleeping. They mm-hmm. go to the bathroom. Grab my toothbrush and just like scrape in the toilet. <laughs> you better what be did nice. You do to them. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You better be <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that's my 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 strange and bizarre story. Who who wants to go with next with theirs? Yeah, I, I can go next, and then cool. we'll, we'll keep his special story. All right, special again. <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a Florida man. The Florida man is back in the news, if you didn't realize this. Oh, Florida. Florida man burglarized a Little League concession stand. Buck naked. Okay, hold on. Put, let, let, let's, let's break this down for a minute. <laughs> what did he steal? Let's see. Let's get into the Where story. Where is he putting it? Right, he's <laughs> naked. That's what I want to know. a baseball cap, gloves, and nothing else. A Florida man burglarized a Little League concession stand in Donald Dundon earlier. Florida. Yeah, that's definitely Florida. <laughs> P- Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is now asking for help in identifying the man who is who Greater Dundon Little League President Susan, whatever her name is, is a long last name, said caused five thousand dollars in damaging. Did he, does it say what he stole? The man broke into a concession stand at Fisherfield and done and blah, blah, blah. Surveillance photo, footage provided to Tampa Bay Times. The man appearing to be naked, rummaging through the stand, 
Ah, uh, there's a lot of needless I, stuff in okay. here. Okay, we said the man gained entry by prying a door with a crowbar. Okay, so this is obviously not while the kids were out playing. That's what I'm saying. Is that not creepy? For he also took a package of hot dogs. What were you about to say? <laughs> Extremely creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's obviously at a little league park. Did I just hear you say he took a pack of hot dogs? He stole a package of hot dogs. (laughs) What? Uh, That was what he stole. (laughs) What is he doing with the hot dogs? My thing, he's he's naked and he ran away with a pack of hot dogs. Hot dog, he's got a... Let me... PG-13. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever's going on here probably starts with an F, right? Um, uh, or an M. Both. You want to say say the F, I'll say the M? Yeah, he's got a fetish. And he's on meth. And it involves hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> awesome story, man. All right, Jay. Jason, what you got, bro? I I have a Florida man. All right. Oh. Now, have either of one of y'all, or do y'all know anyone that's ever had an iguana? Actually, I know somebody who had, yeah. Okay. I've never had an iguana. Iguanas are more tropical climate. Mm-hmm. Warm weather. Yes. It gets cold, they freeze. That's why they keep them in the... Uh, Tropical climates. Well, oh, they the, keep them under heat lamps. Light. Right, yeah. right. They keep them under heat lamps. They don't die. They just freeze. They do it to conserve energy. Mm-hmm. So, Florida man, driving down the road, sees a bunch of iguanas in the road, yeah. not moving. Thinks they're dead. So, he decides he's going to pick them up and eat them. Because in some parts of the climate, they call them the chicken of the trees. Wait a minute. So he wants to eat them. He's going to eat the iguanas. Well, they get in the car with the heater on. Iguanas aren't... <laughs> They're not frozen? <laughs> They're not, not frozen dead. anymore. They're not dead. <laughs> oh, my So Lord. they thaw out. Yeah, well, he's, he's probably... Get, I think he says like 10 or 20 iguanas in there. When, isn't that called cryogenic? And they wake up They wake Basically. up pissed off. Like, did am I in this car? I was on the side of a road. You picked me up and put me in this car. I was hunkered down for winter. We were just chilling. Hibernating. Yeah. They they attacked. He crashed. Wow, dude. Nice. Only in Florida. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Florida man is ridiculous. Only in Florida. My thing is, they say... Have you ever had alligator, Jason? I have. Does it taste like what they say it tastes like? Chicken? No. Chicken. Does not to me. They say everything tastes like chicken. Not everything. I know it doesn't, but that's what people but, say. But yeah, if if they can't describe it, it tastes like chicken. Yes. Well, I would I would chalk that up to just the human taste bud. You know, um, we eat chicken on a regular basis. You know, dude, I could eat chicken daily. Oh, of course. I think chicken must be the most basic, palatable form of meat can for I, everything to taste like chicken. Can I throw a conspiracy out there real quick? All okay. right. Here's okay. Think about this. How many wings does a chicken have? Uh, well, two. It's two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Now let's take Super Bowl Sunday, right? Yes. You're, think about no. Just follow me down this road. Let's take Super Bowl Sunday. Do you think there are more chickens on Earth, or do you think that there are more people on Earth? What do you think? Uh, more chickens. Okay. You think so? Well, yeah. People breed chickens for food. That's go to a, a go, to look go to a chicken coop. That is the nastiest, foulest smelling oh, thing. Especially in the summertime, you can smell oh. them from miles away. Ooh. Okay, here's my conspiracy. On just Super Bowl Sunday, okay, let's say me, you, Larry, he invites his family, you invite your family, I invite my family. We got 30 people over here, right? We want to order some wings. We order 200 wings, right? This is, hold on, this is one household. 200 wings on Super Bowl Sunday, one day out of the year. Mm-hmm. Now, take how many other people are ordering 200, 300, 400 wings? How many bars are ordering 200, 300, 400 wings yeah. just in Conyers? Take Covington, take Lilburn. You really think, and there's only two wings per chicken. Well, the way they sell them, of course, you get four because they split them up by flats and drums. drums. Okay. Right. So one wing is actually two wings. Two. Yes. Okay. But. Think about that. How many people are on Earth? Nine billion? Seven million? Uh, seven. A little over seven now. Seven million or billion? Billion. All right. So seven million people. And I found the number of how many chickens are on Earth. Uh-oh. How many? Nineteen billion. Uh, okay. All right. Do Pull a calculator out, somebody. 
19 divided mm. by 9. How, how many? What is that? Divided by 9. Yeah, why? well, that's 2.3. 2.3. 2.3. 2.3. So that would mean every person would have two wings. Well, that's no, just what's no, on no. Earth now. And that's constantly replenishing. You got to think that's not, nineteen billion times four. If you sell them the way that they're doing, does now if they were to cook up all the wings of all the chickens on Earth, you're gonna have nineteen times four. Thirty-eight billion. No, seventy-six. Yeah, billion wings. And y'all, uh, people out there, to you trash talkers, y'all really believe y'all eating real chicken? Not everybody's eating chicken, though. Nah, you don't think every day at work. Every fr- every other Friday. I, they're definitely not ordering more than 76 billion wings. All I'm saying is that can't be real chicken. I have a philosophy about some of that. Let's hear it. All right. Popeye's is my favorite. Think I love, about Popeye's. I love me some yeah. Popeye's chicken, but it looks symmetrical. You got the small leg, you got small thigh, wing, big chicken breast. You go to churches, you got this massive... Gumbo. Dude, it looks yeah. like they injecting their chickens with steroids, putting them on <laughs> oh, treadmills. Sure they are. Hey, the chickens because the, the, breast, <laughs> the breast is the size of a nugget. <laughs> yeah. Or what about the chicken at McDonald's? That's not chicken. Okay. that. Okay, so what is it? <laughs> That's sawdust. That, okay, dude, I'm just saying, it's... We have two... Man, I'm a cons- y'all just tell me to be quiet. I think the Earth is flat. We're a flat, motionless, spinning thing, non-spinning thing in on Earth. <laughs> and there's not enough chickens to feed the world. What was that you just? Oh, I didn't say nothing. Okay. Anyway, y'all want to get into it and explain this? <laughs> not enough chickens on this flat Earth to feed the world. Man, y'all gonna leave chickens me. just keep falling off the edge. <laughs> y'all, y'all want to get in? A- no, a- <laughs> two man. million Chinese people eating chicken every day. Come on, keep them coming. <laughs> What else? <laughs> but they don't need two billion because they have the rice to go with it. So yeah. They 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 uh, so one cut the chicken back. A good five hundred thousand people, right? Any more flat Earth jokes? Uh. I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Density over gravity. Yeah. Gravity. It, it, what? Let's not go into that. <laughs> All right. I want to, guys. We're gonna get into the explain this now. Uh, said seg uh, said segment, and yes. I'm gonna show them a picture. They haven't seen it. And we're going to try to explain this picture. Jason, feel free to um, add your thoughts into this. And the way we normally do it, I pull it up on screen so you guys will be able to see it at home. And um, what we're going to do is they're going to explain what they see. And, um, yeah, we will try to decipher what it is. So. All right. I'm excited to see what it is this week. Am I going to get scared? Ooh. All right. That's creepy. Explain what you see in this picture, guys. Well, there's a mom holding the toddler. They both look happy. Toddler yeah. looks a little surprised. They have no idea that there's a ancient man in there considering they're in color and the background is in black and white for some reason. Right. Ooh, I is that so. a man to the left or an old woman? <laughs> what you talk about the people or the- no no in the background yeah it looks like the where's the beef lady oh it where's does <laughs> look what it looks like to me is it's an old lady on the left and a pit bull on the right well how oh, come yeah how come the brick is color and yeah and that's and the the section of the old people are in black and white right Okay, well, let me give y'all the backstory of this. Go ahead. This picture is called The Watcher in the Window. Well, obviously. Right. It says, all that is known of this photo is that it was taken in Chicago and shows a happy mother and her son. It also seems to show the ghost of an old woman and a bulldog staring at the camera through the door. I was right about the old woman. I was right about the pit bull. (laughs) Why are they in black and white? This, you know how we always say we have to question the legitimacy of them? Well, I guess the question would be, do you think ghosts are in color? Uh, Maybe they're not. Have we seen one yet that is in color? Good question. I mean, if... Even if they, the, the Flash last week was not <laughs> was in color. transparent. <laughs> yes. Oh, the meta-human thesis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so, where all the albinos are going. I have a theory. Oh, well, are we done with this? You guys got any, Honestly, y'all would think this was... I think this is Photoshop. Yeah, I, this kind of does look Photoshop I mean, to me. It does to me too, but it brings up that debate. If there was a dead ghost clown, would his clothes still be in color? Good question. 
Great, wow. great question. That's a question old as time. Right. I want to get on. All right, guys, now we are done with Explain This. We, My favorite part of the show, we're going to get into some good old-fashioned trash talk. All right. This I have a theory about albinos. If there are any albinos listening to this show right now, I am not... <laughs> <laughs> what would you not racist not prejudiced what would you call albino you're albinist albinist okay <laughs> is that a technical term yes. <laughs> okay just making sure jason let me ask you this mm-hmm. when you were in high school did you have any albinos at your school uh yes okay since you've been over the age of 25 have you seen an albino with your own eyes no where do they go? Dude, they stay in that house, man. They'll burn up. <laughs> Dude, the no light, a light bulb will burn their skin. I, you, I mean, that doesn't kind of... You see them throughout... Okay, what about this? In your adult ha- life, have you ever seen an adult person with Down syndrome? You've uh, seen them in school. No, I have, but... I, yeah, where, I don't remember, but... Yeah, I have. You, so, but it, typically, Down syndrome... Adults, I don't think typically live as long. Yeah, that's what that was. That would be what I would think is that maybe oh, they don't. I think it. it's part of the it's, disease. Yeah. Damn, I feel bad now. I don't know if that's a hundred percent true, but I don't either. But that's what I'm thinking. Good. Yeah. All right, roll with it. Maybe they just don't make it. Well, either way, um, I'm just wondering where do the albinos that's go? Something I can look up. What? How long does that? What ad- is the lifespan of an ad- adult with Down syndrome? Yes. Okay. Well, let's take a guess. What do you think? I would say 50. Damn. I would say 40. 40. I'll say 40. You going to guess before you pull up the answer? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say about 35 to 40. Jesus, really? That's sad, man. It is sad. We were supposed to be having... We got to get into some... I hope you got something, a topic or something you can bring up to throw us off, dude. I'm sad now. I know, man. I'm finna cry, man. I'm kind of curious right. to the answer, though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, uh, it's not as bad as we thought. What is it? Uh, with appropriate medical care, most children and adults with Down syndrome can lead healthy lives. The average life expectancy of individuals with Down syndrome is 60 years. Are you kidding me? So only about that's 20 good. years less than a normal person. Yeah, that's good. You that's better than I thought. 60 or 16? 60. 60. Six zero. Okay. So it, it, but it takes a lot of medical care for them to reach that age. Yeah, a lot of medication and right, hands on care. The parents usually take care of the kids their entire yeah. life. Damn, I mean, y'all. it's it's I'm, a tough thing. Can they have? Can, let's get off this. That, topic. And the, probably the reason you don't see them in day to day life is because they're in home, be in so, hospice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, what's up, y'all? This trash talk now. Now we can talk some trash. But it doesn't explain where the albinos went. That is a question mankind has yet to You know, answer. is it possible they're hanging out with Bigfoot? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Bigfoot don't come out unless it's dark out, too. So maybe they're hanging out with the, uh, with the albinos. The, true. <laughs> Have you heard his theory on Bigfoot? No, but I would like to. All right. <laughs> Keep it PG-13. <laughs> All right, so how did we get Bigfoot? Let's say Bigfoot exists. This is a theore- uh, uh, just completely theoretical. Okay, how would how could a Bigfoot be created? If if there are no mother Bigfoot, there's no father Bigfoot. How are they created? You ever seen a liger? A liger? No, yeah. I've never seen a. Thank liger. you. You've seen you've seen videos of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how do you get a liger? You breed a tiger with a lion. Right. Okay, for some reason, the liger grows to be 900 pounds, whereas the biggest tigers are around 600 pounds. The biggest lions can grow to be 250 pounds. How does that child get to be 900 pounds? It's a genetic mutation, right? Right, yep. Okay, so how would you get this nine-foot Bigfoot running around the forest? A gorilla rapes a human. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Doesn't it make sense? It makes kind of sense. <laughs> At one point... A- Why did nobody come rescue this human <laughs> while they're getting Funny. violated by a gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you I want to know. You know the whole story of the gorilla escapes the zoo? So apparently up in the northwest somewhere, there, there was a rash of gorillas escaping and... 
those lumberjacks running around the woods just were take taking taken. care of the gorillas what if, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman it could have been the gorilla that fathered the, ah, or mother the, that yeah yeah dang imagine a woman having a bigfoot baby <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> That's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> what uh, What about if it's uh, ancestor of Nephilim? What, what's that? Yeah, you got to... Ex- what is Nephilim? The uh, giants in the Bible. Ah. Mm. Explain. They were said to be fallen angels that... They were demigods. <laughs> Kind of, yeah, yeah. And they breeded with humans. That, yeah, that said, hey, this woman looks good, and they, you know, messed yeah. around with the woman, and their offspring produced giants. Well, yeah, the same, the same stories go about in Greek mythology. That's right. how you get demigods, is, you know, by the gods actually mating with humans. So Bigfoot could actually be a Nephilim, yeah, ancestor of Nephilim. Okay, and this is where 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 have you where did you hear about Nephilim from? It's in the Bible. You, you believe that one hundred percent without a. If you were a betting man, would you put a hundred percent of your money that those Nephilim existed? Oh yeah, dude. Let's get into it now. I wouldn't doubt it one bit. Just because it's in the Bible. No, who's to say that something doesn't exist just because you've never seen it? Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a star? Have you ever seen the Tooth Fairy? Well, come on now. Come on now. I can they say the same thing existed. about a star, though. They may have. Yeah. Have you ever seen a unicorn? Have you ever seen Santa Claus? Yes, I have. I look in the mirror. You yeah. know what? Oh, he hangs oh, out at the mall every Jesus. Christmas. <laughs> I'm being for real. A Nephilim, do you honestly believe that a book written by man says that there were these nine-foot demigods that was in Jesus? Well, they have found giant True. Yeah. skeletons. Yeah. But then again, you don't believe in dinosaurs either. I just question everything, dude. Yeah. God, whoever, if y'all want to call him that, the creator, whatever, I have a free will to question. Did yeah. it, by your Bible, does that Bible, did it, does it not say he gave me free will? Oh, yeah. So is it a sin for me to think differently? No. 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 Although, You're, it, 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 I, I think everybody should question everything, but only you can come up with what you believe. I don't necessarily believe in like organized organized religion, like yeah. Catholics, Baptists. All that is man made. Yeah, it's, that's all just sets of rules to get people under well, control. Well, this guy didn't like how the Catholics were doing, so he started Pentecostal. Baptists didn't like what that guy was doing, so they started Baptist. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's just all based off the Bible. But so the Bible you, was wrote by man. Do you believe that everything in the Bible is absolutely true? It's parable. Of course, but that doesn't that leave uh, doesn't that leave it up to interpretation? Couldn't King James be he's like, well, you. since this is a parable, this means this, and yeah, but you can read that parable and come up with a different interpretation of it. So how can it be true if two people believe the exact opposite or different? Ex- answer that question. How can something if you if one person subscribes to the King James Bible and you say mm-hmm. it's a parable? Well, not everything is a parable, but a lot of oh. it. If you've ever written the Bible, if ever written the Bible or read, I never wrote. I one. have read Old Testament, <laughs> written and New Testament, and the Bible from front to uh, end. But yeah, I mean, like, do I think Noah's Ark was a parable? No. Why? I believe it really happened. Okay, so I do believe there was a flood, but All a lot right. of them spoke in parables. Yeah, it's Why kind of a mystery. Why I don't. I, I honestly don't know, and nobody will ever know why until I believe you die and you go to heaven. That's like understanding why his face looks like that. Nobody's gonna know until we get to heaven and ask God. <laughs> hey, my my ladies like it. My ladies like it. What are the nine wonders of the world right there? <laughs> no, y'all. I really want to go into this. No, I'm serious. Yeah. I be, I believe. Well, we're into it. I believe. Yeah. I believe the Bible. I do. Okay. But are there some things in the Bible that you don't believe? Like what? Do you believe that Moses was in a a desert and a bush lit on fire and actually had a legitimate, vivid conversation with him? I do. Well, Well, who's to say that he wasn't... Who's to say the bush was audible? Who's to say that God wasn't speaking to him in his mind or his heart? Who is God? That's interpretation. 
man. It just sounds like you, hey, religion is basically law before law. Would you agree to that? Before? Well, yeah, there had to have been, yeah, that's how the Ten Commandments were created. So, if it's control, it's it's a basically a weight. I'm not saying that I'm for, I don't know what happens. You don't know, you don't know. Nobody knows what happens. Nobody really knows until they experience it. Right. Have y'all ever seen the movie Heaven is for Real? This base this a true story? No. Neither I don't have think I. So. Explain. Uh little boy dies. Uh-huh. And when he they bring him back and when he comes back he tells his family that he met Jesus. And that <laughs> Jesus was walking around showing him heaven. How old is this little boy? Four or five. Already bullshit. Hold on. Listen to me now. No, you can't say you that. You can't call BS. Sorry. You so, didn't experience it, so you don't know. So he's trying to tell his family about what he saw. And, of course, his dad is an actual pastor of a church, and his dad's having a hard time wrapping his mind around it. He thinks this is something that was caused by him being mm-hmm. dead. I mean, because he technically died. Mm-hmm. Okay, so but trying to make it short. Well, hold on. Before you go, how did he die? To be honest with you, I don't remember. It's a, What's the name of this movie? Heaven is for real. Okay. Documentary fiction. It's like, a movie, but it's true it's story based movie. On a true based story. Yeah. So during this whole thing, his dad's trying to wrap it all around him. His mom doesn't believe it either. So he's sitting there playing blocks with his mom, and he says, "Mom, do you, do you know I have a sister?" And she says, "Yes, of course we know you have a sister. She's right over there." He said, "No, the uh, my other sister, mm-hmm. the one that died in your belly." Mm-hmm. Oh, I heard about yes. this. Yes, and the mom had never told the kid, and she said, "How did you what, know that? What was her name?" And she said, "She didn't have a name. You never named her, right? But she had hair like yours because she was the only redhead in the family." And then towards the end, the dad's still doing research on it. Found somebody else on the other side of the world because his dad kept trying to find out what Jesus looked like. Mm-hmm. And he pulls up this girl that had the same experience, and she does a lot of paintings and art off what she saw. And he pulls up a picture, and the kid goes, Dad, that's him. That's Jesus. And it's the same picture that the girl painted on the other side of the world. Oh, wow. B.S. You don't know that. You don't. You're right. I don't know. But you have the choice to believe whatever you want. And and But okay. you definitely believe in a God. I believe there is something controlling like creator. That. I, I just can't call it God. I can't call it Buddha. I mean, something I, had to put the bubble over the flat earth. Uh, I, you've never heard me say, <laughs> but man, what's, come on, man. But what's wrong yeah, with... There's no way you can believe in flat earth without believing in a God. Absolutely true. But have you ever heard me say that I don't believe in a deity? Have you ever heard me say that? Mm. But why do you refer to it as a deity? Why can't he just be God? Because, okay, so... And who's to say the basis of, like, Muslim, you know, Muslimism or what, what do you call it? Muslim. Islam. Muslim. Islam. Islam. What's to say that their basis isn't just another version of they That's didn't the like see, they didn't like they didn't like how the Catholics were doing it, yeah. so they wrote their own stuff. Okay, but it's now, it's still it goes back if you look at it. I mean, it probably all dates back and goes back to the Bible. Okay, but mm-hmm. okay. First of all, the Quran and the Torah is older than the Bible. Mm-hmm. So mm. go ahead. I don't know, I'm, but I still I'm, think I still think all religions are talking about the same God. Okay, so and even th- though they have wars and fight over it, I still think they're talking about the that's same God. That's You're saying we're talking about the same guy. So if they're talking about the same person, let's say your name's Larry. Mm-hmm. He's never met you. Hey, he comes up to me, Hollywood. You know, uh, man, I met this guy, real cool dude, tall dude. I think his name is Jeff. Oh, you talking about the guy with the beard? He raps. Uh, you talking about Steve? We're talking about the same guy, yeah. but it's you. So yeah. an Islamic person says, "Oh yeah, I've got um uh, Allah." Mm-hmm. Uh, a Christian person says, "Oh yeah, I've got Jesus yeah. or God." Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be Jesus. Uh, that uh, would be more like uh, Muhammad. My, uh, so, would you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Who's to say that we are just talking about the same person? Zeus. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the Torah was written before the Bible, but that was before the Ten Commandments, and G- that was their basis of religion before Christianity was formed. Mm-hmm. And the difference is that Jesus, the people that believe Jesus came and he was the Son of God and he was the Messiah, versus the Jews that don't. There that's are why they still Jews, though. They are. They are. I have a friend of mine that's one. Keyword you just said, believe. 
It's all belief. It is belief. Now, what happens if you die and everything you have been taught is a lie? Okay. Well, let's do it this way. Let's say that God is not real. Okay. Okay? I've lived my life following the Bible and... You know, following the Ten Commandments, not doing stuff wrong, praying to God, mm-hmm. uh, asking forgiveness for my sins, and and there's not. I, I'm still okay. I, I lived a good life, and I gave my children faith in something that they could go to mm-hmm. in a time of need. So, well, hold on, hold on. But let's say I'm right and you're wrong. Okay. And I die and I go to heaven. That's the thing. And you die, and, and you reincar- go to hell. Or reincarnate. Well, here's what... Here's that's, that's the only argument I would have to it. That's, that's why the only problem I have is people, is atheists. Right. Because they believe that there is nothing. And it takes a lot more belief that there is nothing. It takes a lot more strength and faith to right. believe there is nothing than to believe there is something. And atheists, you know, if, if it turns out that the atheists are right, and it really doesn't matter, does it? There's nothing. But if it turns Excuse out me. that the atheists are wrong and there is something, at least these people have that something. Yeah. You know, and uh, atheists tell me I'm stupid for believing in simulation theory, but it all ties back <laughs> to the, there's a creator out there. Are you familiar there, with the simulation theory? Yeah, and I could see how you could see that, definitely. I'm because there is a creator. Yeah. It's, it's just, just creator, programmer. Yeah. It's still a Developer. creator. <laughs> it's still a creator. Program. Yeah. It's... Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. I actually had a religious experience on Trash Talk, a Trash Talk podcast, guys. Uh, this man right here, I was completely oblivious. I was completely ignorant and just off the topic of reincarnation. He brought up the reincarnation. And I'm, wh- what religion practices reincarnation? That's Hinduism, uh, Buddhist. Buddhist. Yeah. He, that, I'm telling you. If I I consider myself a non-denominational, bottom line, religion is any book you read. You could read the Torah, the Quran, the Bible, the Satanic Bible. Any book you read, it all boils down to you do good, you get good. You do bad, you do bad. But when he brought up the reincarnation theory, Mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, who's to say that if you don't do really bad... Because technically, technically, in your Bible, I'm I, I'm sorry to say your Bible, but in the Christianity Bible, Hitler has the same faith as Mother Teresa. Only if he repented. Only if obviously. he repented. Okay, and then, accepted Jesus as. See, his, that doesn't make sense to me. Either, it's like, crazy. I can understand that. I can understand how it would be difficult to understand. See, I don't they, understand. They, I don't fully understand it either. Christians have these set rules that. If you, you don't know, believe it, doesn't it? matter. Oh yeah, if you if you do not take that one second to repent right before you die, you're going to you hell. Don't know. But as long as you say, "Hey, I'm sorry," I'm Ooh. sorry, then you get to go to heaven with all the rest of them. Well, who's to say that there's still you still have to? I think on Earth, <laughs> when you do bad, you pay for that on Earth as karma. Uh, karma, oh, God I, I is still in karma. Right, sure. right, but karma and God's judgment could be the same thing. Yeah, there's no way to know. It could, but so, a, but a hardcore Christian won't tell you that. Yeah, they won't. I, I think hardcore Christians don't believe in karma, to be honest with you. But well, they believe you're going to pay for it through burning in hell. Well, no, it, it says in the Bible that God does chastise and punish His children. Mm-hmm. Who said that in the Bible? It says it in the Bible. Who? What book? Do you know? I don't remember. You can pull it up. Matthew, Mark, okay. John. I mean, it, but it does. So well, I, I honestly believe that, like, I, I mean, I, I've dealt with a lot. So I believe that I pay for my sins that I've done on earth. Now, if they, like Hitler, and he, right before he dies, say, God, please forgive me, there's still punishment. You still got to pay for your sins. It's not uh, saying that he so- won't go to heaven, but... Who's to say have, what he has to go through before he gets to walk through the pearly okay, gates? Okay, you said in in the Bible that 
this person said this this per a person said it man if i say if i wrote dude i swear to you if i wrote a book right now and i had 10 commandments if you don't upload a video to youtube every day you're gonna go to hell Fifty thousand years down the road somebody finds that book guys i have found a religion a man wrote and you know there's books in the bible that aren't in the bible mm -hmm. the dead so what about those do you not believe those i do my own research on those so do you I'm like just, I said, organized religion tells you that no, those aren't in the Bible. They're not in the Bible for a reason. But I try to take in all aspects of everything. I, if, I think if you close your mind off, you're doomed regardless. Why not just do good? You get good. You do bad. You get bad. It's that easy. Well, not always. It is. It's that easy. So you easy. think you have to have that faith to make it to heaven? I, yeah, I believe that you have to believe that in the bible you know like it says that jesus was the son of god how do you, you know that? that and he died to pay our sin debt see i have a, I have a hard time believing that this all-knowing all-loving god is going to be that narrow-minded that he's like well there's things that happen in your life that makes you not believe it going to hell get the hell out of here well if you believe it you never lose it keyword believe right no, i've seen people lose faith before no, I'm not talking about faith, but it, it's once you, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and you actually believe that, then you can't, that can't be taken away from you. Think about a child that... It's not saying you won't have to pay for stuff. What if you kill someone? <laughs> then you will still have to pay for that sin. So, but you still get to go to heaven just because you believe that Jesus was the Son of God? If you ask for forgiveness, yeah. That is believe? crazy. Well... That is crazy. It is. It is. I mean, it's a lot to grasp. I'm, it is. Oh my I God, mean, it, it's, it seems easy to a Christian that's been raised in this theology from their entire existence. Right. It seems normal. It's like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. But because you were taught. To a person that. who thinks outside of the box, we're like, that does not make sense at and all. And what about a, a remote island where people don't know what a Bible is? They don't know what a Jesus is. They don't know what God is. What happens to them? I think somewhere in the Bible it does say that uh, you will not be judged until you have heard the word. Correct. And, and children, of course, until they actually have the ability to comprehend, they just go. I, I want to get on to another topic, but I want to say something else. So what do you say, damn it, what were we just talking about? Um, faith. Me <laughs> believing that Blind faith. how you go to heaven, Jesus, Son of God. Okay, how do you explain a newborn baby that has terminal cancer that didn't do any that's only been alive for well, six they're innocent and according to the well I, I say according to the bible but it's really according to these preachers who interpret the bible that's what i'm saying it's all written by man and according to the bible hold on it says god w created man in his image according to his likenesses right so mm -hmm. a baby coming out with two limbs missing and brain tumors i mean and dies the next week Come on now. That stuff we'll never understand. I see that as pain for your past life myself. Well, it could be or your parents' sin. But why would one have to pay for their parents' sin when that had nothing to do with them? Well, that could also be why the baby didn't live. I mean, God's, you know, hey, here's your lesson. But now, I guess the baby. Uh, and this yeah. baby's not going to, I mean, that well, baby don't suffer. But about Down syndrome people that live to 60 and they <laughs> suffer their entire life? See, that are could they be suffering awesome. for their parents? You don't know how that occurred, though. That's what I'm saying. A lot of this stuff, I believe, you will not truly understand. I mean, it even says you don't understand God's will. How could we understand if you believe in a creator and he has the ability to create everything that you see from here to... Don't the you dare say Jupiter. To the glowing butthole they took pictures of. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's blunt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if he has the ability to create that... With just a snap of a finger, how could we ever comprehend what he thinks? Well, but why give us the free will and the intellect to even try? Because if he didn't, we would just be slaves. But aren't that what if we you are? believe in the Bible? Aren't you that are what we a slave. Are? No, because we're here just to worship him. You still have free will. You don't have to. So, but, if but you that's don't, what he wants. Yeah, and if you yeah. don't, you go to hell. You, so that's, why, of course why, that's what he why wants. Why even give the people the chance? If he loves you so much, why give you the chance to do wrong? Well, it started, I mean, that was free will with Adam and Eve. 
But why? That's that's what I mean. And it's carried on. It ever would be since. so much easier to believe if we had why answers. And not only that, and you and if you believe, you will one day get why. Do this. That's part of faith. Don't be a great episode. I'm sorry. All right. But, let me say this. But okay. do I, I don't hate you because you believe different than me. Mm-hmm. Now, are there some people out there that do? Yeah, well, they're close-minded. Yeah. But well, atheists have a lot of hatred for in the, anyone who believes anything. There is right. typically something that happened in their life that made them that way. They were praying for God to decide a specific way, or their parents were, and that didn't happen, and they do not believe in God anymore. Yeah. So what do you, what is, what does the Bible say about gays, homosexual? What does the Bible say about that? So he's wanting to go deep. Huh? Yeah, I am. I mean, this I is, mean, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Okay, but a per guy. First, do you think being born gay? It, are you born gay or is it a choice? I think it's a choice. I disagree. My ex-wife that I had two of my children with wasn't gay. Okay. When we were married and if, made two well, children, woman, right? It's different for women than but for men. How is that? I've said this. How is it a choice for one Listen and not a choice for others? Listen to me. Listen to me. But she's she is uh, playing ball for the other team. Now. Okay, now, let me put some of my personal. I I have had a cousin that when he I'm talking about from the age of one, we're out there playing with trucks. We're playing in the dirt. He wants to play with Barbie dolls. Okay, he's feminine, broken, doing the broken wrist. It, I can explain. Was this he not raised my, that way? My religion. I can explain this. Well, let me finish. He, what, you said he was right. No, he wasn't. I know. I asked you. I said, was he raised this He's way? He's one years old. He I, doesn't, that doesn't mean his. They, he wasn't babied and baby talked and put in no, pink shirts. His and mom was the. Was the dude, nurture. when, when right. he came out, his mom. Auntie, I love you. His mom disowned him, went to prison, got raped, and died because. So, man. Wouldn't God shun someone for disowning my their thing gay is, child? Yes, and it, and the Bible, a sin is a sin is a sin is a sin. There's not one sin greater than the other. So, so just because person, I believe... Killing a person is the same thing as stealing a candy bar? Or lying that you put the keys on the table when you didn't? Yeah, pretty much. That is harsh. <laughs> it just, Jesus, but, I mean, but, God but, but here's seem all but, loving on that. But, yeah. but, but here's the thing. Well, he is because he gives you the choice. On oh, he's got why? a choice now. Well, why? he gives if he, it, wants he, us so bad, he gives us the choice. If he wants us to be part of his group so bad in heaven and go hang out with him, why give us the choice? Right. Would you want to go hang out with somebody that made you? I would feel much better about it than burning in hell. If if you had to come hang out with Bear. Every no, every day at a certain time, the time could not vary, and it had to be seven days a week. Uh, you know, the only reason that doesn't seem cool to us is because we have free will. If we didn't have free will, it'd be normal, and we wouldn't matter. Right, but after two months of having to do it at the exact same time, no, you couldn't you make other schedules. Have free will, right? You, you wouldn't get bored of it. You're saying that you would never get bored of it. No, if I didn't have free will, and I, if that's the only if thing I knew, a, right? But knew, yes, then you wouldn't get bored. Yeah, it's yeah. like people people couldn't miss air conditioning before there was air conditioning. I don't know. I think I would still miss air conditioning. You could. I would definitely. But if you didn't have a choice, is what I feel. What you're saying. I feel what you're saying. But I don't. I just don't understand how. If you, were, I'm sorry, but you were born. And if you ask me about how can a man be gay, but a woman can't. Like you said, a woman has nature and nurture. A man is put on this earth to do two jobs, to protect and to provide. A woman is put here is to nurture and, you know, you have hunters, you have gatherers. So a man, when a man is born, his XY chromosome automatically is firmly set into his head to where he's, I promise, you know, I don't even have to say none of that. You know how I know gay people are born gay? Because if you ask a gay person, they're going to say I was born this way. Well, of who, course they're going to tell you that. But who am I to say that they're wrong? But how can they remember when they were four years old? Because I had a one-year-old cousin. That but was, at the age 25, he's not going to remember what he was doing at two and three. But he was gay as hell at 25. He's saying no, he was just saw him. He was age. just feminine. There's a difference between being feminine or having a 
feminine personality and gay. You hear gay or feminine guys come in all the time that you know you you're like yeah that dude's gay, but he's not. What about transsexual? I mean, what if a person's born trans? How can you be born trans? Uh, well, what's what's the word I'm? Uh, where well, you have both sets of hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Yeah. That's a legitimate thing. There's dude. typically one set of genitals that's more dominant than the other. But they have two. It's like a six toe. So God just if, gave them I that. Mean, if they have an equal amount of testosterone and estrogen at the same amount of time, they're split directly down the middle. Right. And if they have both sets of genitalia, you know, it's basically up to them or the parents. Which and what do you? Yeah, say? the parents usually make that decision. Yeah. Uh-huh. What do you say to people who say I'm a I'm a I'm I'm a man, but inside I'm a woman. What do you say to those people? I say they're confused. But so God gave them the free will. To so do you think they have the ability to change? They're just not doing it for some reason. I think everybody has the ability to change. Even if they say this is me, this is me inside. I can't change. This is me inside. That's just how their brain. That's wires their brain them. and how they're feeling. Feel. That's why the world is where it's at now because of feelings. You, you think we're too accepting to things like that? Not necessarily. I'm not saying too accepting. I'm saying there's too much worried about people's feelings. Right. Everybody's too worried about somebody else getting butt. Oh, I agree. PC culture sucks. Politically correct. Correct. Yeah. I want to say something else. Am I going to get a lot of hate response? Just you might. Uh, no. Actually, uh, I think I, you're I probably think we getting. We have a pretty accepting audience. Actually. Yeah. Except for we have a few people on there that I down have a us. A few haters here and there. That's all right. Well, the bottom line is, it don't matter what I believe or what you believe. I believe what I want to believe. Exactly. Well, it's like we and say on you, every episode. Yeah, you got believe what you want to believe. We're not telling you to believe right. anything. We're just sharing ideas. Right. Did you know what what chromosomes make up a male? X Y. Okay, and what chromosomes make up a female? Y. Y. Why? Why? Okay, so males have X Y. Mm -hmm. They tested some of the blood off the shroud of Turin, which is the one that says cover Jesus' body. Hold on, which has been proven in 2018 to be completely no, no, no. They tested part of the repaired section. That shroud has been tested and repaired and all that numerous times, but they tested the blood. And it was a male, but it only had the X chromosome. But but Jesus, what is how, how long ago was Jesus on Earth? Ten thousand. Two thousand. How long? Two thousand. Okay, they said that well, this was only AD, like six hundred years old. So if that shroud has been repaired over numerous parts of the years, that's why when they did the testing, they shouldn't have gone from a corner. You can actually look at the shroud and see the different colors and in the actual hey you know what let's pull the shroud up we'll show cool. the people let's, pull it up. Let's show the sh- actually we'll pull it up on our phone somebody got a shroud picture on their phone i'll pull it up on the on the loud on the yeah, um, put it on the oh you ain't gonna better get it off my phone my phone busted oh i mean I'll pull it up in here but i want to show i mean i'll show you guys what's it called the shroud of jesus the shroud of uh, turin all right well while you're looking that up Smokey, i want to ask you another question is suicide a sin let me ask you this do you know the story of samson um, I know that the microphone you're recording on is made by Samson. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Samson is he had incredible strength. He was instructed he was not to eat, uh, I think, flesh that had been Mm-mm. dead for so long. And uh, somehow he got his power from his hair. Yep, and he couldn't cut his hair. And because of this, you know, through God's grace, he was blessed with incredible strength. But women were his weakness. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he lays with Delilah. She tricks him, cuts his hair, he loses his strength. Mm -hmm. So he's basically tied up and in between two big columns. You know, this is, of course, long story short. And he's getting beat. His hair is grown back. He thought his strength was gone. So he gets his strength back and he pushes out the columns Mm -hmm. and the columns collapse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so he's basically doing what God wanted him to do from the beginning. It just went around a long turn. So. If technically he was doing God's work, but technically he committed suicide. So does he go to heaven or hell? I don't think that you go to hell because you commit suicide. So because so that would mean but in the Bible it says but, if you kill yourself, that's you go to hell. But but listen, that would mean Samson, who was doing God's work, mm-hmm. went to hell. So if I go in the room, I pull put a bullet in my head. Am I going to heaven or hell? I think it just depends on what you believe. But in the Bible, it says if you kill yourself, you go to hell. But it's it's based on what you believe. I can't 
If, but, if, listen, but, I, 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 listen, listen, listen. Now, if saying, you believe that, if you believe what I believe, and you're just mentally torn, okay. and you say, God, forgive me for what I'm about to do, and you kill yourself, I believe you'll still go to heaven. If you're doing it by doing God's work, you're saying. No, he's asking forgiveness. He's mentally torn. He's struggling How inside. Can you ask forginess before you do wrong. Because that's, that's premeditated that's suicide. suicide. Yeah, because I could say, well, God, please forgive me. I'm going to do a bunch of drugs and shoot hookers. Or, God, I please forgive me. I'm going to go do a mass shooting. I don't think yeah. that's the same at all. That's like uh, comparing a cheeseburger to some chicken. I, this, so you think God has discretion like that? He's There's, The, the rules if he's, are not completely set. Well, if he's all knowing and he's all loving and. You know, a man that is doing his work, you know, dies from doing his work. Yeah. Technically, he commits suicide. Do you think he went to hell or heaven? If you believe the Bible, he goes to hell because it's suicide. You can't pick and choose what you want. So people that were carrying out God's instructions and died in battle, technically they committed suicide. Uh, I don't no. think they went into battle expecting to, to die. To die, right. Uh, some people, I mean, when you're going Unless, to war. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Just can I get a yes or no question? If you put a bullet in your own head, do you go to heaven or hell? I think it depends on the circumstances. So I, I can't get a yes or if no. If you're doing it to save a bunch of people? Well, no. It, like I said, if if you know you say, God, please forgive me for what I'm about to do, you know, and you're mentally torn. I mean, people that commit suicide <laughs> are dealing with a lot. of It's all mental. Well, what if you're in this mafia situation? They got you in a room and they're like, well, if you don't kill yourself, I'm going to kill your entire family. And you're like, oh, I'm going to kill myself to save the family. You kill do you one. believe in God? I do, but... Well, that's what I'm saying. In this situation, you're giving me a scenario. Does this mafia yeah. guy believe in God? No, no, the guy that's about to kill himself. Yeah, does yeah, that let's person... Say he, he does. He yeah. believes in God. Yeah. And he says, you know, in his mind, God, forgive me, and he kills himself to save his family? Well, what if he doesn't think to speak those words? But he's doing it to save his family. That's yeah. sacrifice. Yeah, but yeah. Well, at the same time, what if he's saying, "Damn, I don't want to kill myself. I really because well, the, because the Bible says if I kill myself, I'm gonna go to hell. Even though my parent, even though my kids and my wife's gonna be saved. But dang, I'm gonna go to hell. I Bye. seriously doubt anybody in that situation would be thinking all that through their head. But if you believe in the Bible, the Bible says you kill yourself, you go to hell. That, right. I think that's what he's saying. Is that is it these right set now. rules, or does God have discretion? I believe God has discretion. But some there's definitely some preachers out there that don't believe mm. that. Right, but let's I'm glad you brought that up. Let me ask you this. Isn't it a sin to profit off of God's name? That would be vanity. I would say that don't would be vanity, but vain. which is a sin? Yes, but well, yeah, it all depends on what pastors. church you're talking about. You got Eddie Long out there making millions. That is a sin. I, I don't necessarily believe that Eddie Long should be having a multi-million dollar mansion and driving around in I, Ferraris and Whatever Bentleys. church you go to, I promise you, your pastor ha lives in a bigger house than you. That's paid for by the church, yeah. No. No, no sir. No. no. My pastor church. retired from the post office, and he's built houses, and he did not take a cent but for is. pastoring the church until he retired, and I don't even know if he still does now. Well, but that's not the norm. You know that, right? Yeah. I mean, no, it's most, not the norm. It's not. But the, live off the, the pastor of my church does not. My pastor was actually my youth pastor when I was a kid. Mm. But no, he would. He did not take a dime. He was more concerned about growing the church and letting people come in and hear the word of God than he was about getting a paycheck. See, now that I agree with. But when you're sitting... Ch to me, church, if... Hey... You want to go to church? We're in church right now. All right, look. You um, say 14 Hail Marys. Um, I don't believe in Catholics. Well, okay, Hail for, Marys. No, and hey, Hail that's Marys. Christianity. No, True? no. Catholicism is a... Is that's a man-made religion. Christianity is a man-made religion. Well, anything that has a religious base was written by man. So you show me one religion that is not based off a man writing something oh, down. it's impossible because no, religion... It, Right. Made by so man. it goes. It atheism. goes by. It goes by what? No, that's made by man. That's well, someone sit there and came up with. Well, you know what? We believe okay. there is nothing. You're right. Religion right. is based by man. So it's yeah. what? It's all based off faith. Mm -hmm. That's bottom line. That's what it is. It's yeah, that's faith. why atheism takes more faith than any religion out there. Is it true? That I think atheism. I think it's a lot of hate. There's. I think there's there just is a lot of hate. Right. Yeah. It's just there's something that happened. 
that otherwise they would be agnostic and not atheist. What's the right. difference? No belief. You, you don't know what the You don't know. Is. So atheist. And that's what I spent a lot of my life is agnostic. You know? Wait, wait. So atheism means you don't believe in. Wait. I, you believe there is nothing. You are dead set that when you die, there is nothing. As an atheist? There is no controlling. Yes, that's what atheists believe. Okay. There is dead set nothing. There's no no convincing me that there is anything out there. Now what's I don't agnostic? believe in fate. I don't believe in karma. I don't believe there is anything. This is all chaos, and we just happen to be here. Now agnostic is I really don't know what to believe. Huh? My wife sent me a text said, "Are you okay?" So yeah. I'm sitting here a <laughs> picture of Smokey. <laughs> Look, I mean, all right, man. I this guy with a beard is threatening me right on. now. More and more, I mean, we're at an hour mark, man, but there's so much I want to talk about, and I know you Agnosticism makes a lot of sense. It does, yeah. because that uh, the cavemen were agnostic. Did the cavemen... Did, what about dinosaur? Dinosaurs didn't exist. First, A lot of Christians don't believe in dinosaurs. Do you believe in dinosaurs? Yeah, I think dinosaurs existed. Because a lot of Christians don't, because Why? they weren't in the Bible. Have you ever seen a dinosaur? No. But you've seen bones, right? Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. How do you know it was a ghost? I don't. I've, a was, lot of Christians, especially like Pentecostal and um, the snake handlers, all those fools up there. In the, uh, I ain't going to say fools. Uh, I'll respect them. There's the no people. snake handlers. <laughs> no. Nah. You pull okay. out a snake, so, I'm in the middle of service. We go. Out. So, uh, no, thank you. That's my train of thought. But uh, they, they don't believe there is such thing as ghosts. But isn't Jesus the Holy Ghost? If you see any kind well, of no, apparition the, on the earth, Father, it's a demon. Right. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit, which is? Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm not saying there's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, they will tell you that, though. The Pentecostal and the um, Apostolics mm -hmm. and the Snake Handlers, they will tell the you hell? that there is no ghost. Like, there is no, there's no way once you die that your spirit can remain on earth. Man, well, we they will tell you, if you see an apparition, that is a demon you saw. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm different. I mean, I'm more open-minded. Well, that's Who, a very who's to say, well, religion. Well, well, who's to say that God doesn't allow loved ones to come back and check yeah. on other loved ones? Who's to say? Guardian that, angels. Who's to say, right. Who's to say that God doesn't create some children gay? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just... It, That's a valid question. I mean, it's... You, can, you can't pick and chew. Who's to say that well, God... Well, if that was the case, why didn't he make it to where... Because doesn't it say be f fruitful and multiply? True, but it also says... Well, show me a man and a man I that can why, have a baby. Why they believe it is because God would not... God is infallible. He's perfect. So he wouldn't make someone man. that is gay. Because why would you make a, a being that's not going to appropriate? Why would he make a child that's born with terminal cancer that's missing four limbs? Why would he do that? You'll never. I mean, I believe in God, and I believe, you know, of course, what I believe. But we're not trying yeah, to convince yeah, you. Oh, I, I, oh, I know that. And, and you know, I, I love you still, you know, and I love you still, too. We, we all still good. But it, like I said before, if, if the creator can create everything from here to the farthest star ever, how can we ever comprehend? How can we comprehend it? It's all faith, man. You got to believe. I think, yeah, I think we can. And I think eventually. Eventually we will? We will. Yeah. I think as a human race, we will evolve to a point where we can understand it eventually. That's, that's the reincarnation theory. Thing, yes, because reincarnation equals evolution. evolution. Now, things that we're doing right here, right now, will eventually get us as a race or as a being. Right to the point where we can understand it because this conversation right here is actually expanding our minds without us even knowing absolutely it. but we're, we got to close this out soon but i want to ask you one more question do you believe that there's an antichrist oh yeah but do you in, believe there's been two of them already and the third one is yet to come yeah i believe that there's been multiple ready you know kind of set because you know, nobody knows when God or Jesus is going to come back. So there would have to be someone prepared to be that mm -hmm. at pretty much any given moment, I think right? There was one born in 2016, but that's just me. Um, Wait, you think there was one born in 2016? Yes, because if you take the time of death from one of the Antichrist. Hold on, when was that? Was when was the uh, the big? astrological event 12 December 21st 2012 no when the sun the moon the, and the, the stars Mayans? all lined up 
Yeah, that was, that this was, was, that was 2012 when we No, no. Of it was 2017 or 20... I think it might have been 2017 or 2016. It was uh, the revelation sign. I don't know. We Pull might up have... when was the revelation sign. Huh. And y'all need to look I'm at that. I'm almost positive it was 2012. No, not the revelation sign. I so think you it was. Might be proving one of my theories right here. I think it was 2017 or 2018. Really? But it was basically this one-time alignment within so many thousands of years that everybody literally thought that that means Jesus was coming back. I honestly think it means that the Antichrist might have been born. Well, see, I got that theory from taking the time of death from Vlad, Vlad the Impaler until the time that Napoleon was born, and then Napoleon's time of death until ah. the time that Hitler was born. And then from so, Hitler. So, yeah, after Hitler died, who it was, was in the 2016. exact amount of years was 2016. Okay, I get you. I get you. Right. No, I think there's always one ready to... Oh, it was September 23rd, 2017. 2017. Now, was this the... Um, <laughs> What was that? Um, uh, Jesus, there was a YouTube prophet that kept saying September 23rd, 27th. It's because of that sign. Oh, uh, okay. Smoke. Get closer to your mic. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was her name? Uh, uh, Virgin Something Mary. Moses. Renee Moses. Her last name was Moses? Well, that's what she called herself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no that was. I don't know if that was her actual last name, but. But no, and I honestly said from the beginning, we won't truly know what happened from that, what that sign was for, for years probably. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't think we'll know what anything means until but, we die. I mean, I think I heard a little bit, yeah, I heard this on your other podcast, there's an Antichrist and you was getting in, well, what's the opposite? So, well, let's get into that okay, part real, real quick. Okay, real quick, let's do this. This is going to be a great episode. Okay. For people who haven't heard Trash Talk episode 15, follow me here. The opposite, or the okay, the opposite of Christ is the Antichrist. Christ, Jesus Christ, is a man that that lives in heaven. So, what is the opposite of a man who lives in heaven? A woman that lives on earth. Hence, Mother Earth. We are living in hell now. If you follow the Bible, we're, right now we're in hell. You make your own destiny. You kill who you want. You rape who you want. You live the best life. You make a million dollars. When you die, you lived your life in hell. But as soon as you die, no matter what you do, Hitler, uh, the Columbine shooters, no matter what you've done on hell, you're going to heaven. Okay. Just so a theory. What's the opposite of God? The devil. Okay. What's the opposite of the son of God? Who is the son of son God? Son of Satan. Well, so the son of God is Jesus, right? Well, he was. He, here's the point he's trying to make is it would be a female. So I the think daughter, I, is it maybe it, it's gangster. It, it could be possible. My nigga smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it could be possible. It's a, nobody knows that, you know. But yeah. for me, the opposite of the son of God would be the son of the devil. Mm-hmm. Well, that's but, what I always saw it as, and I, I think that maybe there's this spirit but, that is recreating itself, that is being re um, that's being reborn over and over again. You know, through, uh, and through Vlad different the people, Impaler, through Napoleon, Napoleon through Hitler, Hitler, yes, through and, and those Hillary could have been all the ones that were set to take the stage if Jesus, you know, was getting time for Jesus to come back. Yeah, I, I believe that's see, possible. I also think that there's probably the Christ consciousness is being reborn. Now, the, the Christians will not subscribe to this at all, but I think the Christ consciousness also is reborn over and over again through Enoch. Through Jesus, mm. through you know um, Gandhi, you know mm. through Buddha. Well, the Mandela. only the only difference yeah. between Jesus and all of them is Martin Luther King. According to the Bible, he is the only one that died and came back from the dead. And who wrote the Bible? Man, right? Inspired and spoken to by God. How do you know that? How do you know that it didn't happen? I don't. There you go. I don't. And that goes back to. Faith. Faith. Now, how do we know they were not on DMT when they talked to God? And who's wow. to say they weren't? Do you know anything about the the burning bush? bush was the acacia bush that, that was filled with DMT when it when it set on fire? Do you know about DMT? Mm-hmm. When Moses was in the desert and in the desert he was in, which is in Egypt, there's a bush called the acacia. Mm-hmm. When that bush gets set on fire, it and produces you the smoke. Mm-hmm. Produces and, with DMT. DMT. and who's to say that? 
who's to say that God didn't use that to be yes. able to speak to him? Yes. Or what if there was just no, a, a that. thunderstorm and it just happened to set on fire? Okay. Well, who's to say but, that God didn't send that lightning bolt down for it to set on fire for the smoke to engulf him and true. be able to use it to communicate? I agree. But I think DMT is how you communicate beyond the veil. And that's actually been proven. I don't know if it's been proven. But there's a many, many accounts Absolutely. of people who say that once they do dmt they talk and to god our first was it our first or our second i've done the DMT. very first one i've done dmt and i promise you the entire sky it didn't last no longer than the five grid. it i swear to do you, you know how many people have seen that dude I hundreds of it people was the have most... seen the grid around the earth that is why we're in a simulation I promise. solved we're done <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll end it out on that anything else got for the people jason no man, I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, we appreciate you this being. It's been here. a great episode. We appreciate you being here. Anyway, guys, we want to thank y'all so much for checking into this special edition of the Trash Talk episode sixteen. This was a great one. It really was. Absolutely. It really was. And we can have you back in the future because we love those deep conversations. <laughs> if you can, have, I'm down, dude. Whenever y'all want, please. Any if you can yes. have an intelligent conversation with us, we're, we're for it. No, yeah. man. I, I think once you close your mind off, you stop growing mentally. So you got to be able to take in all aspects of everything. I have my beliefs, but I've gotten my beliefs over taking everything and combining it, you know? Right, right. Yeah, and that's how I got mine. That's how I got mine. Well, yeah. we know and your flat earth is weird. It's okay. Yes. We'll talk about little, that on the next we, we love you we'll, anyway. Thank you. But like, like we always say. You guys believe. We're not telling you to believe anything. You Nothing. believe whatever you want to believe. Please, please. So with that being said, guys, again, thank you for checking out the uh, episode number 16 of the Trash Talk Podcast with our special, special guest here. Special short bus special. <laughs> Jason Law. Jason Law. My name is Baron Hollywood 6. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over. I love you. Oh, my God. I love you more. But he yes. said it first. Yes, I did. He did. That means he loves him more. Uh, exactly. Because anyway. you didn't even think to say it. No. Yeah, you were delayed. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. We are over and out. Deuces. <laughs>